As we all know, Sonic the Hedgehog is celebrating his 30th anniversary in 2021. And, just like every anniversary, we have a new game to look forward to. Yes, Sonic Boom Fire Nest was actually the 25th anniversary game. As of recently, 3D Sonic has been performing poorly compared to 2D Sonic. With games like Sonic Boom Fire Nest, yes I do believe that is a good game. And Sonic Mania, rivaling Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, the worst Sonic game in my opinion, and Sonic Forces, a disappointing mediocrity of a game. What does 3D Sonic need to be great again? Well, that is what we're going to discuss in this video. So, without any further ado, let's begin. First things first, the most important thing, great level design. What is one thing that the 2D games nail almost every single time? That's right, level design. Sonic Forces didn't have good level design, for the most part, as there are quite a few stages which I would say had good level design, such as Network Terminal and Null Space. We need more open stages with lots of branching paths, just like Generations and Unleashed, two games with terrific level design. Another aspect of level design is length. Over the years, stages have been getting shorter and shorter. Unleash was the beginning of this with the introduction of the boost formula, which is understandable in Unleash since it was the only first couple of levels, being the first was a tutorial to the boost. I can understand why the levels are getting shorter though, because since with the boost it need to be very long since Sonic can just boost along within seconds. This is why the adventure games had longer stages, here is especially since the characters didn't go nearly as fast as boost, so they could just make large levels because the characters are going like that fast so you can like make like more branches fast and everything. And they can do this while still keeping a budget, which leads into our next point. Budget is one thing which has been getting lower and lower for Sonic, which is a real problem. Without a big enough budget, Sonic Team can't make games on a bigger scale like Unleash, with amazingly animated CGI cutscenes and 6 hours in length at the minimum. The main reason for budgets we gain low is because of failures in the past. Sonic 06 and Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric come to mind. Yes, I do believe Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric had a big budget. The real problem with the development of that game was trying to build the Cry Engine on the Wii U, which clearly backfired. I think I really need to start rushing their developers with games. Sonic 06 could have easily been the best Sonic game to date. It really could have been. But Sega wanted the game to come out for Sonic's 15th anniversary, so corners had to be cut. It's the same story with Forces. Now, I know there's been a debate on how long Forces took to make, but I'm going on my own knowledge here. I believe the actual development of Forces took a year, the Hedgehog Engine 2 took two years, the conceptual development took one year. If Sega gave Forces another year, it really could have been something a lot more than it is right now. And, given it was a great game, would have made this drought way more bearable. Another major thing which is needed, is good control. Forces had the worst controls in a 3D Sonic game to date. Turning was extremely difficult, acceleration was weird, and jumping felt wrong. Can I just say this, but am I the only one who thought that acceleration looked way smoother and better in the first teaser show that we got of Forces in Sunset Heights? I mean, also Sonic looked way bluer there, so I don't know why they changed that, but oh well. Anyways, the extremely low speed was also a problem with Forces, especially with classic Sonic, I mean, you couldn't even run down that slope in a chemical plant, man. Come on, seriously, come on. Forces also left out a lot of Sonic's abilities from his movesets such as drifting and light speed dashing. Forces just felt like a huge step down from previous games because of this. Controlling your character is a crucial part of a video game, as it determines how fun it is to play. Take Rayman Legends for example. Controlling your character is so fluid and fun. Gaining momentum is natural, and it is extremely exhilarating to go fast in that game. If you have not played Rayman Legends, go play it right now. It's actually my favourite 2D platformer. It's so good, that the only bad thing IGN had to say about it was no online multiplayer. We're never satisfied, are you IGN? When do Mario games ever have online multiplayer except for Super Mario Maker 2? Huh? Answer me that, please! They just love Mario, don't they? Story and writing is one thing which hasn't been consistently good since Sonic and the Black Knight. I say consistently good because, like I've said in my previous discussion video, there are some really good lines in each Sonic game. For example, in like Generations, like the references. Totally strange. I'm no stranger than rescuing genies in magic books or saving aliens in an interstellar amusement park. Anyways, and ever since Pontac and Graf had started, an era had ended. I'm making this sound way more dramatic than it is, aren't I? I will say though that Forces were having a lot of plot holes, the writing was decent. I mean Sonic wasn't always cracking jokes all the time, and there were actually some really cheesy but good lines. For example, the post credit scene with Sonic and the Avatar. Hey, you're taking off too? I was thinking the same thing. You gonna keep moving forward? No matter what, yeah? <laughs> you and I aren't so different. <laughs> See you later, buddy.
I love the lighting in that scene, man. It's so good. It just shows the power of the Hedgehog engine too. But still, we need we still need better writers though. Originality has really been lacking as of recently. Forces and Mania did have some new areas, but Green Hill and Chemical Plant still had to show their faces in those games. It's like a curse or something. Sega, just leave them in the past, god damn it. We also need amazing in-game CGI cutscenes again. Sega, get to it. Forces had CGI for the trailers, but on the actual game, like, what the heck? Come on, Sega. This is why we need bigger budgets for the games. Lost World CGI was gorgeous. Give us a good Sega, bring back Marza! Another thing which needs to be said is... Stop shoving Classic Sonic into the games! Let Christian Wright had given his deserved treatment. Just put in other characters instead like... You know... All the characters which have done absolutely nothing since Sonic 06. Remember Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Cream, Big, Vector, Espio, Charmy, Silver, Blaze, Rouge, Omega, Joey Sega? Put their past behind you! That's one problem with Sega. They are afraid of having another Sonic 06 instead of fixing the problems they had with it. But then again, I doubt the current Sonic team could pull off something as ambitious as 06. As depressing as that is. My final thing on the wishlist is multiplayer. Both local and online. I love multiplayer in games like 06 and Lost World. Ah, the memories. Even just adding online races through stages would be fine. At least it's something. It would keep people coming back to the game and increase the replay value. And they could maybe even add some sort of reward system to have an incentive of doing it. But... They need to constantly up to or they'll end up like TSR's online servers. Or lack of them, I should say. No, seriously, it's extremely hard to find a match nowadays, unless it's an organised server. I'm gonna bring this game up again, but Rayman Legend is the prime example of constant updates. That game came out in 2013, and yet it still gets daily and weekly online challenges. Even if they are done by a computer, at least people can still come back and enjoy the game even after completing it. I know I certainly do. Okay, I'll stop gushing over the game now. But damn, that game is amazing. Any Sonic fan would enjoy it. And um, yeah, that pretty much does it for my rambling in this video. Those are my things on the wishlist for the next 3D Sonic game, and I'm sure you agree. If you have anything to add, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. After all, you're probably a Sonic fan too. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this discussion video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Peace!